In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to analyze chip qPCR data to calculate the percentage of input and fold enrichment. So let's start off with the percentage of input method. So for this method, you need to have three things. You need an input sample, and commonly used these are 2% or 1% input samples, an antibody of interest sample, as well as a negative antibody sample. And what I have here are just average CT values for these three samples of the technical replicates. So the very first thing you need to do is we need to adjust the CT value of our input sample to reflect 100% input because at the minute in this example it is a 2% input sample. So to do so what you want to do is type in equals log open bracket. Now what you want to do here is enter the dilution factor you used for your input sample. So if you have a 2% input sample this would represent a 50 fold dilution. If you had a 1% input sample this would be a 100 dilution. So in this example here, mine's a 2% input sample. So I'm going to enter 50, comma, and then for the base, for the log transformation, you want to do two. Close the bracket and then hit enter. Now this number here represents the CT value we need to minus from our 2% input sample CT value to get the adjusted 100% input value. So to do this, I'm just gonna type in adjusted input here and this will represent 100% of an input sample. And you want to do equals the input sample minus the number we've just calculated. So this here is the adjusted input CT value, which represents 100%. So the next thing we need to do now is to calculate delta CT. So I'm going to create a new column here called delta CT. And delta CT is the difference between the adjusted input CT value and our samples of interest. So we don't need to do this for the 2% input. So the first sample I'm going to do is on the antibody of interest. So what you want to do is type in equals. You want to select the CT value for the adjusted input sample, which now represents the 100% sample, minus the CT value of the antibody of interest, and then click the return key. And then also repeat this for any other samples you have. So we also have a negative antibody sample here. So I'm going to do equals, again, the adjusted 100% input sample, minus the negative antibody CT value. And finally, what we now need to calculate is the percentage of input. So again, I'm going to insert another column. I'm just gonna call this percentage of input. And to calculate the percentage of input, we simply do equals 100, because this is going to be a percentage, multiplied by two to the power of, which is this symbol in Excel, open bracket, and then it'll be the delta CT of the sample. Close the bracket, and then click the return key. And then you can repeat this process for all of your samples. So these here represent the percentage of input for our samples. So the antibody of interest, for example, has a percentage of 1.74 and the negative antibody sample has a percentage of 0.10%. So that's how you can do the percentage of input method. The other method which is commonly used in chip qPCR data analysis is the fold enrichment method. Now for this, you generally just need two samples, one being the sample using the antibody of interest and another which is the negative antibody or IgG antibody or no antibody, for example. And then again, these are just the CT values for the technical replicates that I have displayed here. So the first thing you want to calculate is delta CT. Delta CT in this instance is the difference in CT value between the antibody of interest or any other sample you're interested in, minus the CT value of the negative antibody or the background signal, for example. I'm going to do this for the antibody of interest first. So I'm going to do equals, and it's going to be the CT value for my antibody of interest, minus the CT value of the negative antibody, and then press the return key. And then again, doing the same for the negative antibody, I'm going to do equals the CT value for my sample, which in, the, in this case is the negative antibody, minus the negative antibody CT value. So obviously the delta CT value for the negative antibody should always equal zero. And finally, we can calculate the fold enrichment for each sample. And to do so, we simply do equals two to the power of negative open bracket, and then it'll be the delta CT. Close the bracket and then press enter. And then do the same for the negative antibody. So it's equals two to the power of negative 
delta CT and when you do this for the negative antibody would always equal one. So the fold enrichment for the negative antibody should be one. In this example you can see here that the fold enrichment for my antibody of interest is 16 fold greater than the negative antibody. So in this video tutorial I've shown you two ways which are the percentage of input and the fold enrichment method to use during qPCR chip data analysis. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment, like and subscribe for more content.